And we want to add some, you know, services and daemons to our Ubuntu server here. So let's go ahead and load up Synaptic Package Manager. And we'll look for a few items. One of the things we want to get is NFS, the networking file system. And that's a daemon that Unix machines use to communicate with each other on the network. Um, so let's go grab that and... Yeah, let's go over here. Several dependencies there that we want to install. Um, let's go ahead and grab, we're going to find Samba. That's what we need to communicate with Windows machines um, for NetBIOS and NetBuoy and just to communicate with a Microsoft network. Be a Samba and Samba client. And grab the mount commands here. This is an intrusion detection system, by the way. I think we'll grab that while we're here. Smart, but we'll probably cover that on another day. Um, right now, we're just kind of worried about you know certain server services or daemons that we want to load. So we've got NFS, we've got Samba. Um, now let's go and look for, let's see, what else do we want to add here? We'll add the Apache web server. We will add FTP. And let's go ahead and do that. So this is a common internet file system, but that's just, you know, for different communication purposes, we want to add that. Let's go ahead and add the Apache web server. And this will kind of build a list. Once we've added all these packages, it'll build a list and summarize all of their dependencies, and we'll be able to install them all at one time. So Apache, Apache 2. Um, I'm going to go with Apache 2 here. The additional features here, all of the dependencies. And we'll go ahead and get VSFTPD. It's our FTP server. There's VSFTPD. These are just some of the more common uh, services or daemons that you might run on a Linux machine. I'm going to go ahead and say apply. And in this case, to be upgraded, to be installed, unchanged. So we've got a, got a lot of things to install here. Uh, only 20 more megabytes of space, but lots of packages to download. Let's go ahead and grab those packages. And we will cut out here and go into configuring the services just to save a little bit of time so be right back okay let's check some of the things that we've accomplished by installing some of our networking services in Apache first thing I'm going to do is just go into the web browser and we'll check localhost which is the loopback 127.0.0.1 and this will test Apache. In this case, there's Apache. And by default, it's set to go ahead and serve up a page index.html. It works, so we know that's there. Now let's open up a terminal, and we're going to zoom in. Check some of our configuration settings. I'm going to print working directory. Oops, that slipped down there. Let me move that back up. Oh, in the middle there. Okay. So I want to recurse one directory, and we'll go into home, do a listing. 
Now notice that when I installed VSFTPD, it added a directory, FTP. And let me do a long listing. Notice there's a group here that you know has membership with FTP. It has read privileges and execute, not write. And that's more secure by default. Um, no group is a group that corresponds to FTP. FTP is treated as a user account, or it's a service account. So again, if I did groups FTP, you'd see there's no group. So it's a member of FTP. For our exercise, we're going to go into FTP and we're going to use the sudo command and we're going to touch and make a few files. Um, Deathray secrets and Fusion, fission, fusion bomb. Maybe it should be fission, fusion, fission. Or who knows? But anyway. All right. Now, if we look, Roots, the owner here. Let's go ahead and change the group membership. Um, and we'll we'll give it FTP access. So no group. And I'll just use a wild card there. And now all of our files. In this case, I have group membership under no group, which is our FTP user account. All right, now I'm going to traverse and go up to the root directory. And we're going to look at Etsy and boot some of our configuration files. Etsy is right here. And if we go into Etsy, I'll do a quick listing. Most of your configuration files for Linux you'll find in this folder. And just as an example, X11 for X Windows. Um, there's VNC for the VNC server, VSFTPD comp for FTP server. Um, oh good grief, there's the routing daemon, virtual machine for Java, genome settings, PCMCIA for our laptop. Let's keep going. There's cron for time tasks or scheduled tasks. Let's jump up here. Here's Apache 2 for our web server. There's a config file in there called httpd.conf. There's FS tab. I'm going to use the catalog command, which just displays things. And I'm going to show you the contents of F FS tab. I'll pipe it to less in case it's too much. Uh, oh. Yeah, it looks like I had one too many S's there. Okay, in this case, now notice I'm mounting that NTFS partition with my movies and music and MP3s and WMAs, my media files. That's device HDA3 media, that's the NTFS partition. So, um, again, if I were to do the mount command, notice that it's mounted. In this case, DEV HDA3 is mounted on media. And that's just an example of my FS tab configuration file. And if I were to list media, um, let me do sudo list media. And, you know, in this case, these are all of the NTFS uh, directories that I have on that particular partition. So what, we what we're interested in, what we want to do, we're going to use vim. And I'm going to sudo vim, which is Linux's text editor, and I want to edit the FTP configuration file vsftpd.conf and I'm going to go down here anonymous access is good that's actually safer than you can allow you authenticated users um, with local accounts to log in via FTP but that's usually considered more dangerous that way you just know that you only put things in FTP that you know you would even allow your worst enemy to view CHO and you can allow users to recurse um, out of or directories or forbid them from recursing out of directories 